When you are looking to present a lesson from your computer, you're going to likely want to connect to a projector and possibly a smart board. To do that, you need to set up display preferences on your Mac. To access those display preferences, navigate to System Preferences and then Displays. If your projector is plugged in and turned on, you should see two windows. One will be for the built-in display, which is your computer, and the other will be display. It may also have another name, something like the name of the projector or something like that. That will be the display on the projector itself or the smart board. Where it says optimize for, you'll have two options. Again, the built-in display or the projector display. If you choose built-in display, your computer will look the most normal on your end, though it could cause the display screen to look a little bit strange. When you choose optimize for display, it may make your computer screen look a little bit strange, but many times it results in a better image for your students. When you are projecting, you have two different options. The first option is mirroring. That means that whatever is on your computer screen will match what's on the display screen or the smart board. If you choose extended desktop, that means that your computer essentially has a second screen on the, the projected screen or smart board and anything you move over to that spot will be projected up onto the smart board. When using extended display, simply grab the top of any window that you'd like to display to your students and drag it over to the side so it disappears on your computer but then reappears on your display. To select which mode you'd like to use, click on Arrangement and down below the example display there will be a box that says Mirror Displays. If you would like to use the Mirror Display option where both screens are the same, make sure that box is checked. In order to use the extended display where the computer screen and the display screen are different, uncheck the box. Choosing between mirror and extended displays are really a personal preference. Many teachers have a strong preference as to which one they'd like to use. Both have positives and negatives, so decide which one works best for you and your classroom.